my name is Yakshi Priya and welcome to another sketchbook tour video. So today's video I'm going to be doing a tour of my fourth sketchbook that I just recently completed and I want to show you all the paintings, illustrations and drawings that I've done in this one. Now I do work in multiple sketchbooks, I work with them for different purposes, I have them and I also have different types of sketchbooks and even different sizes. So I work with a few sketchbooks at any given time but this one is completed now and it's actually my fourth sketchbook so uh, that I've completed. So um, the this, uh, this, this sketches and the drawings and paintings in this one, you may recognize some of them from uh, YouTube videos. Uh, maybe my patron and then there are some that I haven't filmed I've just sat down and created with them there's a lot of experimentation in here trying out uh, drawing new types of things or new subject matter as well as trying different uh, mediums or different um, types of mediums or different brands so um, yeah I've done a lot of experimentation with this one and trying and learning a lot of different things so let's get into today's video so starting off with the first page i've done a spread um, i started the sketchbook on the 30th of may and completed it on the 17th of november 2022 so it's been a couple of months that it took me to complete it um, i started off with this particular spread um, because i wanted to create a good uh, feeling for this sketchbook when i start off so when i open it i feel like really motivated and inspired to create so i've got like on the left hand side there's a sightseeing journey and then you've got this natural landscapes and you've got mountains, trees, you see the ocean, underwater scenes and then on the right you've got creativity and you have this pathway leading to the um, sketchbook. There's some illustrations in there or paintings of landscapes and then this bird is flying out of the book and into the left hand side onto the nature and then basically what I was trying to put here is that every day we experience different things. We um, go through different emotions, we ex uh, visit different places, we see different things that we may want to, as artists we like to interpret things that we that catch our eye and that really interest us, we like to capture it into a drawing or painting and that's what I've shown here that with reality and the world we live in you see different things and you want to um, represent that onto paper or canvas then you have your sketchbook and that's where it, the expression came out and the inspiration came from a reality and created the spread in the sketchbook so that's what I was going for for this piece um, just to show that everything in the world there's so much things that can inspire us to want to create artwork and we just got to find it get inspired and then just create it and that's what I was aiming for with this piece then um, on the second piece that I did was this polar bear now this polar bear actually I was happy with it until I did the background the blue background the blue background was not actually a good idea I had some a little patterns here which were fine but until I didn't add the it was fine until I added the background the background was um, actually I didn't really like it after that and I didn't want to try to uh, lighten it or darken it because it may spoil the entire piece completely but after all I learned something with this piece I wasn't so disheartened I know now what to do and what doesn't work with this particular piece and these kind of colors so yeah that was actually something I learned from this one so this was not one of my favorite pieces but yeah I just went with it Okay, so this piece here was, um, I was happy with the background. I tried a new technique with watercolors and I was happy with that. Um, I did try to create a face which is half a human and half a, a skeleton, but I wasn't too happy with the blending of the center. I think that looks too straight. I could have made it better with a, a bit more uh, blending into one another. And also maybe the hair, I could have done a bit more uh, realistic hair, but this was just an experimental piece. so. I wasn't too worried about it but that was the, what I was trying to do here and then I've got another landscape now this was a landscape that I I'm usually painting a lot of landscapes with acrylics and oils so this was me trying to paint a landscape using uh, watercolors so that's what I painted this one you have the waterfall and you have the uh, foliage all around and the trees so that was what I was trying to um, just create a landscape with watercolors and see how it goes. So I was happy with this piece and uh, this is a video on my YouTube channel if you'd like to see that. Um, I will have all this, uh, the videos for my uh, artwork in the description, uh, the links to them in the description box below. Uh, if you're interested in watching them as well as my sketchbook tours, the previous three that I've done. Uh, there's also a playlist for the sketchbook tours if you'd like to see my previous sketchbooks. Okay, so moving on, if you see uh, the next page, uh, the next sketch that I did, this was actually a loose watercolor painting that I did. 
I wanted to keep it loose and I found this urban painting or urban um, photo of an urban scene and I wanted to create this painting with watercolors but keeping it loose but when I was done with it I think it, it felt incomplete so I just used um, some uh, or the black uh, jelly roll pen and I just went around the windows and the frames and the uh, railings and everything the lamp lantern just to emphasize some of those details and to really make them pop so that's what I intended with this piece just to keep my art loose and just um, have fun with the process and not really worry about perfection or details or getting it to look realistic just having fun with the piece and this is something I would highly recommend to anyone sometimes just loosen up with your artwork and do something that's a bit more um, out of your comfort zone and something you don't usually do um, and especially keeping it loose helps you a lot when it comes to your actual artwork because you get um, creating a piece like this loosens you up and gets your creativity flowing and then you're able to go into your artwork with your main pieces and you can really enjoy that process of creating them so I would highly recommend sometimes loosening up with your artwork and trying something different so now uh, the next piece that I've done was uh, this one over here now this one is a a color pencil uh, drawing now this paper is very um, it is a uh, has a lot of truth it is cold pressed paper so there is a lot of texture to it so using color pencil on it directly only color pencil you're going to have a lot of that uh, white grain of the paper showing through so i use uh, after i apply many layers or multiple layers of color pencil i use some oil spindle spirits as i usually use for my color pencil drawings and i blend that in so that you don't have any uh, of the white of the paper showing through so that's this little pattern that i did with color pencils and then I went over to do a, a fruit. I wanted to create this. I found this reference of this pear and I really wanted to create a realistic looking pear. So I went ahead and I was using a, a watercolors but the wet and wet technique. So I wanted to have smooth blending of colors. So by using the wet and wet uh, technique for watercolors, I was able to uh, get the even blends and smooth blends and then just create those highlights and get those shadows in and then obviously have a realistic looking pear. Now this was a um, another video where I just loosened up with my art and just enjoyed the process of it. This was uh, some flapjacks with a little cup of tea and a little bit of uh, from fruit juice. And you can see I just kept the background very loose uh, and simple. And then I emphasized mostly, uh, not even the table, but I emphasized on the plate in the front. My proportions were a little bit off here. I did make a bit of a mistake, but that's not a problem. As I always say, your sketchbook or any drawings don't have to be perfect. You need to um, experiment and try different things and learn from what you're creating and learn from the process. So if it's not 100% um, as you wanted it to be, it's not a problem. See, I left this just as it is. It's not perfect, but I enjoyed the process and I really like how the flap checks and the black berries came out on it. It really um, looks realistic and I really like how that turned out. So this was another piece that I experimented with. And then moving on to the next piece. This was another one that I was just uh, playing around with the watercolors. I just wanted to create something uh, with watercolors. So I just got my watercolors out. I did a background, a um, little bit of wash of color, and I just painted in these uh, sunflowers and some leaves. I didn't really um, pay attention to uh, anything. Just wanted to create something and paint. I felt like painting. So I just wanted to create something loose and just enjoy the process of creating. Then I went ahead and did another uh, fruit drawing or fruit painting and I painted in this uh, apple because I wanted to see if I can really get an apple because I got the pear realistic looking so I wanted to see if I can do the same with the apple and this was also very fun to paint and yeah it came out quite realistically so I'm really happy with this. I don't try to aim for hyperrealism but I'm trying to get it to look quite realistic that it must represent what it is that I'm trying to depict. Then uh, this was a video on my Patreon page. Um, this was where I showed you how to use uh, the Inktense um, paint pan set and that's to create this flamingo and layering it and trying to slowly build up the textures and the shadows and retaining highlights. So that was what this video was about uh, when I drew this flamingo. Then we came to uh, another video on my YouTube channel. This was actually a, a challenge, art challenge video that I did. Um, it was a one minute, 10 minute and one hour art challenge. And in this video, I had a little um, decoration on my desk, which was a little pot with uh, fake succulents in it. So I wanted to um, try to uh, paint that and see how I can build up during, uh, build up drawing or painting with limited time. 
So I did it in one minute and you can see one minute I barely had anything on. In 10 minutes I didn't have uh, much but I had like a basic um, ground to work on but I didn't get very far with that. And then obviously for the uh, one hour I was able to get a lot in, get a lot of details, get the shadows in, um, really bring that uh, uh, image to, or bring that object to life. So this was really um, a fun experiment to try and a challenge to try. And uh, just to note that you don't have to try to do things quickly. This was just me trying out this challenge to see what I can achieve in limited times and see what it is. But usually I take my time and I create the artwork. However long it takes to create, I take that amount of time. I don't rush through the process and I would recommend that you don't do that either. And just let the process guide you and take your time with your artwork. So the next one I did was this, I came across this a reference photo on a, a royalty free site. I think it was Pixabay. This was a scene in Venice and there was uh, this boat, a beautiful blue boat and blue is my favorite color so I was really drawn to this boat and then you have this building in the background with the bridge on the side, it's a background, there's a, um, a little um, building in the background and I really wanted to capture this and create this uh, with watercolors so I used the watercolors and I created the whole image and then I just used um, a, the black a jelly roll pen and I just created some of the uh, details of the windows and some of the uh, stonework and brickwork and even some of the details on the boat but you can see it really really came out nice I'm very really happy with this piece more illustrative but I really enjoyed the process now the next piece that I've got um, that I've done was just a, a loose watercolor session that I had just I wanted to paint it was going for spring and I wanted to paint with my watercolors so I just got them out and just randomly started painting something and I ended up with these little roses loosely uh, painted roses with these flowers and leaves and um, I didn't even add details to anything and then I just wrote the word spring on it so it was not really anything detailed just a little doodle that I was doing and then I've got um, this little painting that I did. And this was a reference also uh, that I found at Pixabay, a royalty free reference photo. Um, this was just of a little three wheel um, a bicycle with a pot plant in the back. With some, uh, This is actually a little miniature on top of a drum and then um, there are some plants in the back and the side. So I just wanted to capture this three wheeler because I found it really cute. So I wanted to bring uh, that to life and really capture the metal um, and capture this little pot plant because I thought it was a very cute uh, image to try to um, depict uh, as an illustration. So the next one that I did uh, was this painting, uh, also in watercolors. Now this was actually um, a little jar that I had with some flowers that I picked from outside. They were actually from a single berry tree and um, that's in my yard. And there were flowers that were f falling into springtime and it was falling, the flowers were falling before the leaves uh, grow in. And um, I picked up a couple bunches of those and I put it into this um, little jar with water. And then I just liked the way the light was hitting it in my studio. So I decided to paint it uh, because it was on my desk. So that's how this one came about into existence. And then um, this painting was also my Patreon page. This one was just a loose painting session to paint flowers loosely. We're not getting details of the flowers in. We're just trying to get the impression of flowers and get the uh, look that these are flowers and they're hanging over and leaves and hanging over from the pot. And the pot has a bit of details in it, which I used a sepia a line maker from Derwent for. And I created a little bit of designs and added the shadows and highlights with watercolors. So that's what I was just trying to depict uh, in this picture, just to create that loose um, painting, but create the look of an illusion of flowers so that you think this you cannot think but you can see these are flowers but they're not hyper realistic or like realistic now the next one i went back to uh doing a landscape again uh like i say i always do landscapes with um acrylics and with oil paints so it was nice painting something with watercolors again and also having to paint palm trees i love painting palm trees beaches oceans um, I like painting those uh, landscapes, those type of landscapes. So I had fun with this piece because I was trying to depict the palm trees with all the different colors of the leaves from the darker greens for the shadows, the lighter greens for the highlight areas and some yellows and oranges as well, as well as the foliage and the palm leaves that are hanging over from over the box. And then obviously the water as it's washing or as it's uh, rushing to the shore and then um, the beach and then obviously the background we've got uh, the foliage and the trees in the background so I was very happy to create uh, this piece as well it was a lot of fun now moving on to the next piece 
Okay, so the next piece was just some little painting and doodles that I was doing. I just created these little um, cups of tea and maybe coffee if you drink coffee. Um, I don't drink coffee, I drink tea, so I just painted these little cups um, with one with some floral designs on it and then there's one on the top which is just a regular coffee um, a regular coffee or tea cup and then I've got uh, this little one at the bottom that I tried to depict the gold um, the design that was on it and I tried to use just the irregular colors to create a gold effect it kind of works so I was happy with that experiment this one came out nice this is the one I like from the whole page and then the next page we've got the strawberry which I created using the Intense uh, paint pen set again and I used some color pencils just to create the texture for the strawberry and then sticking with the theme of strawberries I created this piece over here which was um, I created this piece here which was actually too dark I went a bit too dark with it or I could have added a bit more highlights which I didn't actually do at the time but um, it's a little a wooden bucket that has fallen over onto a table and then all the um, or wooden surface and all the little um, strawberries have spilled out onto the surface so uh, that's just what I want to create this wooden bu uh, wooden bucket and sort of create that look of the bucket and having that wood grain and then the inside as well and then obviously the strawberries spilling over so yeah that was another piece that I did that I enjoyed the process although it didn't come out perfect as I expected it to but it was fun drawing it part of it came right it's just that it was a bit too dark I think um, I could have lightened up or differentiated some of the places a bit more but yeah that was the next one then on the next page I've got a pineapple because I went back to drawing fruit again and I drew this pineapple or painted this pineapple this is a page in video and I show you in detail how to paint uh, with watercolors to paint um, the pineapple and obviously create the shadows and highlights and the texture of the pineapple and the leaves of the pineapple so this was also very fun and I was very happy with this piece then on this one um, I drew these pocket watches and I was very happy with the pocket watches because I like vintage stuff I like antiques so I was found these reference photos and I really wanted to depict them so I just went ahead and I used some um, graphite pencil drew them in then used a fine liner went line the ink to everything and then went over with um, some watercolor washes just to create those variations and the shadows as well and the highlights so that was also a fun uh, painting that I did and then we move on to the next one I did this tractor uh, with watercolors and fine liners as well I've never painted a tractor or drawn a tractor before so I really want to try this out when I found a reference photo that I could use and I thought this would be perfect for me to try out and that's how this one I ended up painting it uh, sometimes you may find things that you don't normally paint or don't normally uh, draw uh, you really enjoy drawing them and you will learn something from them so I learned a lot about the details of the tractor and all looking at the reference and trying to um, draw it onto paper so this was a very fun process and also very informative and I learned a lot from it now the next one was a full spread I did of an autumn scene although uh, when I did this it was spring already um, here in South Africa so I wasn't um, experiencing autumn but I did come across this autumn scene that was really really um, caught my eye and I know in the northern hemisphere it is autumn so I wanted to create this um, spread and see how I can uh, depict it and it was really really fun to get this oranges and I used watercolor and gouache for this and to create these trees in the forefront and then look at the trees in distance and then you have all these fallen leaves and these little bushes and ferns and things around and I was really really um, happy about this piece it was a nice landscape I uh, kept it a little loose uh, for some of the details like the foliage and the foliage in the front but uh, all in all it was really a fun piece to work on and I enjoyed it now the next one that I did and now we're getting into some of my more favorite um, illustrations in this uh, sketchbook. This was a uh, watercolor uh, illustration I did of a, a little reading nook um, scene. It's more illustrative. So you have a little bookshelf. I love books. So you have a little bookshelf, you have some paintings and you have a little table with some snacks on it and you have a little chair to sit in and just pick a book and read. On the books I've got, uh, this is a video on my YouTube channel um, as well. But I do have some uh, names of uh, different words on the books uh, like journey, adventure, dream, smile, joy, happiness, relax, um, just some goals, uh, love. I just got some words on each book written down and I think those are just words that uh, we should 
like relax we should take time to relax so yeah this is definitely very a uh, calm relaxing picture as well or painting to look at very illustrative but i enjoyed it and then i think this is about my favorite painting in this book maybe or one of my favorites uh this was a um illustration that i did of a of a um, still life which has got your burning candle with a glow casting a glow over the paper some words written down you have the fountain pen you have its holder you have the ink with the top off you have some books in the background you even have a wax seal and then you have the wax seal stamp so that was really fun and then the wooden texture of the surface as well so i really enjoyed uh, painting this one as well it was a lot of fun um it took a long time i spent a lot of time like the, drawing the car shadows and things like that but it was a lot of fun uh, this one i really enjoyed creating now the next one that i created The next one I created was this little illustration of some books stacked. As I said, I love books. So there's a, a stack of books and some books all scattered around on the ground. And I just wanted to create them with uh, different colors and keep them a bit more, um, keep them bright, but keep them a little more vintage looking. At the same time, I added a lot of uh, metallic to it. I used the uh, Inktense uh, paint pen, metallic paint pen set just to create some of the designs on the spines and I used the different girls and the silver for some of these. So uh, you don't see them very uh, bright in, in daylight, but uh, at night in the, when I put the lights on, if you have a really bright light shining on it, you see the reflection of the gold a lot. So yeah, this was also a very fun piece that I did. Another one that I enjoyed is these little uh, bags um, and this little trunk. Um, these are, I like the style of these older bags and the way they look with these uh, little leather straps and the leather handles and then these little corners with the little uh, studs holding them together and then you have these little stitching on the bags. I really enjoyed it and I wanted to pick that as well. So I just created this, um, I actually found a reference for it. The colors were different for, for the bags, they were all not the same color, but I just created it. Um, Using that reference to see how that bag was, I just created uh, different sizes and I laid them one on top of the other and uh, let my creativity flow and let my imagination actually create these uh, with my artistic mind. And that's something I'm doing more of these days is letting myself create things from my mind and not only rely on reference photos, although I use reference photos all the time, royalty free reference photos if it's not taken by me. And um, yeah, I've enjoyed this piece as well. Also for all the little locks and I've used uh, the metallic paint uh, for the intense paint pen as well for this one. So that also shows a lot better at night in the artificial light. So uh, the next painting that I did, now this one was a um, watercolor painting that I did. This was actually a reference, a relatively reference photo I found. And I just caught my eye, caught my eye because of the background. You have the sunset background, um, and then you have these birds flying, and each one have a different motion, or in different flight, or a different stage of their flight, or a different uh, motion of flight. So I wanted to depict that with all of them and create this piece. So I was really happy with that. So you have them all in different flight um, motions. So I was happy with that. And the next one, which is also another one that I really um, enjoyed creating. Uh, this is a horse. This was actually a statue uh, that I used the reference photo of and I just turned it into an illustration. Um, I used watercolors and I, at first I used graphite and then I went over the graphite with watercolor washes and then I used some color pencils just to really define the hair and then I used the intense paint pan set around the metallic paint pan set just to create a little design around the edge to create a border because then it looks like it's in a frame and it actually adds a lot of um, creativity to the piece and makes it look very although it's just a black and white piece but with that little gold uh, edging around the border it really makes it look very um, interesting and very nice to look at and then the next one I did was this little pocket watch I've done pocket watches earlier as you've seen I really like them um, this one was another one I did it was a darker one and a different design and I really enjoyed creating this whole chain and really doing the details of the top of the pocket watch and also the details inside of the pocket watch. So it was really fun doing this piece and this was something um, I really enjoyed uh, creating. So, and then my final piece that I've done for the sketchbook, with the spring side, I like the winter scene. Uh, summer is okay, autumn is okay, but these two are not really my favorite. I think I really enjoyed creating the spring, or well, I enjoyed creating the whole piece, but the final piece, I'm happy with the spring and the winter, but basically it's spring, summer, autumn, and winter. So I wanted to depict all the um, 
seasons and then you have mother nature i just drew a face for her and then you have this tree and she's great she's part of the tree basically and she's i mean nature is all mother nature so uh, she's smiling and she's providing all these different seasons which you have each have a different purpose for our environment for us as well so um yeah so that is what this whole um spread was about and that's what this final one turned out to be like so um yeah and that was i think the last page yes that was the last um piece for the sketchbook tour so yeah that was the sketchbook and i really must say i experimented a lot with different subjects in this book uh, now going through it it's a lot of artwork and i really enjoyed the process of creating each and every one of them i've learned a lot i've experienced a lot and i really enjoyed the entire process of creating each of these so i would highly recommend as usual to for you to keep a sketchbook even if it's just to do quick doodles or sketches in but keep a sketchbook and work on them your sketchbook doesn't have to be um, it doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to show it to anybody if you don't want to um, but you can just create in it whenever you have a chance and just enjoy creating and spend time um, in your sketchbook just for yourself creating learning experimenting trying new techniques new mediums new styles whatever it is that you want to try you free to do anything you want in your sketchbook so i would highly recommend you keeping a sketchbook if you want to and um, or if you're thinking about it then definitely get one and just start drawing or painting in it so i guess that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you found it inspirational if you have don't forget to like and share feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe till the next one bye